Excuse me, sir. May I come in? Please come. Yes. Thank you, sir. Morning, sir. Morning. You said morning. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Vekhateshwar, you are from Tamil Nadu. Yes, sir. Not till a few years back, we hadn't. For people who are not familiar with Tamil Nadu, they have a general idea. It's a dry state. It hardly rains there, etc., etc. Correct. But over the last few years, especially I think 2013-14, that major flood in Chennai, when the airport was shut for about two weeks, I remember. After that, again we have been having flood and water logging in Chennai and big cities of Tamil Nadu year after year. What do you think has happened? Sir, the first one is that sir, uh, the lack of uh, perfect urban storm water management that has been lacking in Chennai. The second one, uh, there have been increasing number of encroachment that has been not cleared by the state government. And third one is that uh, more number of sewage that has been dumped in the drain and also in the rivers that reduce the Can capacity of flow. Can you name the rivers that flow through Chennai? Sir, at the, uh, there are three rivers that flow primary in Chennai. One is called Adayar River and uh, second one is called uh, Kosathalaya River and, uh, and the no northern part of India has a dry river, sir. What's the dry river called? Palar, but in the northern parts of Chennai, sir. What is the Kuam? Sir, uh, Kuam is uh, once a very, uh, once a major part of the river that has been penetrating to the interior parts of Chennai. But however, uh, it is not primarily used uh, in the uh, drinking water, other capacity with the pollution, sir. I was told that Kuam has now become more of a sewage kind of river yes, rather sir. than a clean river, correct? Yes, sir. Now, why did that happen? Who do you blame? The government or the people of Chennai? Sir, uh, the blame, uh, the uh, the designers has to be kept on both sides, sir. It is due to the in, uh, inefficiency of the government to clean it regularly and also the people who kept it to be more polluted, sir. And what accounts for very heavy rainfall in Tamil Nadu over the last few years? Yes, sir. Uh, due to the rise in uh, the uh, cloud burst uh, in the previous years and the present time uh, two months back uh, due to the low pressure depression and also forming of uh, simultaneous cyclones that lead to heavy rainfall which is an unprecedented rainfall sir. Do you think the number of cyclones in the Bay of Bengal is increasing the intensity and the number of cyclones? Yes sir, in the recent time that has been increasing with respect to the cyclones sir. And obviously as a student of geography you have done your optional geography. Yes sir. Uh, now there is a trend that uh, is worrying people that more and more cyclones are also building up in the Arabian Sea. How do you account for that? Sir, uh, there has been increase in warming in the Arabian Sea due to the recent uh, climate change and also low frequency of the ocean currents uh, that has been penetrating with respect to Arabian Sea. And this leads to more number of uh, uh, cyclones with respect to the coast of Kerala and also Maharashtra. Sir. But historically, much more number of cyclones forms in the Bay of Bengal than in the Arabian Sea. Yes, sir. Why? Sir, uh, the first case is that, sir, uh, due to the enclosed uh, uh, geological surface of Bay, uh, Bay of Bengal, there is more capacity of increase in temperature that leads to low pressure depression. And second is that, sir, uh, uh, rapid increase in the with respect to the more number of uh, rivers from the uh, drain. Uh, leads to more number of uh, water being evaporated. This leads to more of cyclones, sir. Also, could it be one reason that the Arabian Sea is more enclosed by land? Could that be a reason? Sir, one, uh, one of the factors that motivate the Arabian Sea is uh, enclosure of land, sir. Sorry? With respect to Arabian Sea, sir, uh, uh, the reason for more cyclones forming near Maharashtra is due to its enclosed nature at the top position, sir. Does the enclosed nature lead to more cyclones or less cyclones? Sir, more enclosed nature due to more heating, so more cyclones, sir. But then that defies, then why is the Bay of Bengal having more cyclones? That's a more open sea. Sir, with respect to geography, uh, Bay of Bengal can be seen as a more enclosed rather than uh, Arabian Sea. For example, sir, uh, only at the northern part of the Arabian Sea, it has more number of enclosed area, whether the southern and the western part has more number of uh, connectivity uh, in the uh, Ocean. Thank sir. you. Thank you, sir. Venteshwaran. Uh, Recently, WTO was held. Do you know where it was held? Yes, sir. Where? The, the 13th Ministerial Conference held in Abu Dhabi. So, what was the India's stand in that WTO? 
sir uh, india's first and it was uh, is to uh, neglect or uh, uh, make sure that chinese led that uh, investment related measures not uh, been held with respect to wto and second sir subsidy bill that has been uh, for food uh, subsidy bill that has been india giving to the farmers uh, should be outside be deemed minimum level and third one regarding the small and fishery subsidy that government of india gives towards the uh, fishermen sir so this uh, what was the india stand about non trade issues sir uh, india has been always uh, against the unilateral unilateral non trade barriers that has been uh, conducting by the such as U- U- european union uh, european union's carbon tax mechanism no india has asked for certain agency to decide in case some country has any objection are you aware what they wanted india wants our commerce minister he made a specific demand in wto to resolve the issues in case of any complaint filed by any country that it has not followed the wto convention yes sir since 2030 we are using the bali peace clause for our food, food subsidy bill because what, the, what is the name of that particular name is there for that peace clause what we call it uh, the uh, de minimis level sir based upon the agreement of agriculture public sir. stock holding is yes sir the word there we have used in wto yes sir public stock holding sir mm. so since it is more than uh, 10% of the de minimis level granted by the uh, wto regulations uh, and india poses ourselves to be a large nation with also have a large number of mouths to feed it always seeks a change in reference period or with this 1986 sir okay now india uh, we have a growth rate of 8.4% in last quarter right? yes sir what are the external factors not internal external factor impacting our this growth responsible for this growth sir the first one will be the global supply chain risk that has been hampering uh, our growth due to the various uh, wars and second one is that sir uh, since no, our th- favorably impacting i am very sorry sir uh, the first thing is that sir uh, due to the recent uh, russia ukraine war we are able to get a good hold with respect to the wheat export and also low cheap uh, crude oil that improves our uh, uh, food uh, sorry food security and also our crude oil energy security that uh, promotes our growth and second is that sir uh, since india had a good hold of uh, uh, the employment with respect to U- uh, usa in the recent times you are a- able to shift our more uh, service economy to the other european nation the second one sir and third one sir uh, with respect to external factor india recently signed a cep agreement with uae this made sure that we have a better uh, trade agreements uh, with the west west asian nations what is this us china 1 plus 1 policy sir after the covid 19 and also rise in allegations of chinese intrusions and also the aggression with respect to trade policies the global nations are perceiving another nation to uh, add to their diversity of trade by bypassing the chinese so india has benefited by that yes sir in for example, respect sir the first one will be the change of uh, apple production unit with respect to india and second one is that sir um, there are the uh, Australian uh, MNCs, you are trying to have an investment with respect to India. These are the two recent two factors. Okay, my last question. What is this fiscal? We talk about fiscal consolidation many times. What is that? Sir, uh, fiscal consolidation refers to decreasing fiscal deficit according to the FRBM parameters. Uh, since currently we are having uh, 5.9% of GDP, the, that is fiscal deficit, uh, we, it is better to reduce uh, our uh, uh, re- revenue and uh, revenue expenditure so that uh, our expenditure don't uh, expose uh, against the FRB max. Okay, thank you sir. Thank you sir. Yeah, Venkateshwaran, good morning. Good morning sir. I'll just ask one question on WTO and then we will switch to ideology. Now there was a controversy created by a Thai minister, no, a representative in the WTO on her statement regarding India uh, exporting its uh, this fair price shop rice to countries and it is getting huge advantage. So it was of course objected to by Indian team. But what is the situation like? What is our rice export and why this kind of allegation was made? 
சார் இந்தியா இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மோஸ்ட் டாப் எக்ஸ்போர்ட்டர் ஆஃப் நான் பாஸ்மதி ரைஸ் அண்ட் இன் த ரீசன்ட் டைம்ஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் பின் பர்சீவ்ட் பை தி குளோபல் நேஷன்ஸ் தட் இந்தியா ஹஸ் பின் மிஸ் யூசிங் தி எம்எஸ்சி ப்ரைஸ் டு ஹேவ் அ ஃபேர் மார்க்கெட் அட்வான்டேஜ் இன் இன் இட்ஸ் எக்ஸ்போர்ட் சர்வீஸ் பட் எம்எஸ்பி ப்ரைஸ் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் தட் இஸ் இண்டியன் ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் இன்டர்னல் சப்சிடி ஸோ இண்டியன் கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் பாரோவிங் ஹெவி சப்சிடி தே இஸ் சம்திங் லைக் டூ லேக் ரோட் ருபீஸ் ஆஸ் அ சப்சிடி டு ஃபுட் செக்டர் and also if rice is sold for 3 rupees per kg in the market it is procured at 26 to 27 or higher amount so subsidy of 20 to 25 rupees per kg and it is in tons you can imagine so that is all indian government subsidy so if that rice is also exported what is the big problem for the, what is the like profit india gets sir uh, apart from that the foreign nation believe that due to the rapid uh, increase in subsidy of electricity and also the other forms of fertilizers the price of the rice that has been produced excessively has been used by the uh, private uh, stockholders who then uses this to in order to uh, better uh, market uh, distortion mechanism no but that is a loss to the country no that subsidy is again provided by budget so that is a cost incurred on rice production it is not free because if the subsidy is given suppose power subsidy is given some other subsidy it is all borne even msp it is borne by the government of india so final cost in the market without the subsidy would be the market price so this thing is not clear no sure sir what, sir what is your view on that sir uh, so the what the uh, western nations or the other nation perceives that sir due to the private stock holding of the less uh, than a cheap number of rice commodities anyway, now that is settled because yes. she has been already uh, uh, taken some action has been taken uh, what what are your views on urban hydrology sir uh, urban hydrology more focus upon the urban storm water management and also other the conservation of uh, water resources uh, so it mainly starts from the rain water and uh, till it drains the uh, ocean or other stream, uh, stream water uh, the various conservation and also management effort that has been taken as part of but this. do you think that urban hydrology concept is being neglected in urban planning not only in chennai or tamil nadu all across the country is it correct sir uh, the urban hydrology concepts forms a part of the urban planning development sir yes so it has been incorporated uh, with respect to the planning however sir uh, un regulation and also the un audited mechanism by the efficiency in certain lacunes uh, made uh, le- leads to these consequences sir okay so is it true uh, what is the storm uh, i mean sea water ingress in tamil nadu ground water what is the like percentage of sea water is it because of over extraction of ground water or what sir for the first question i am not uh, sure about the absolute uh, number sir however sir uh, yes sir with respect to chennai due to unregulated and uh, unrestricted tapping of ground water led to sea water intrusion that hampers the ground water table and also ground water quality as a whole sir so is some major being taken by tamil nadu government or by central government to check that yes sir uh, one part of the uh, recent scheme is that government of india motivated the jal jeevan mission wherein one uh, parameter is that community water management wherein in uh, urban areas rain water harvesting at each residential below the ground level through st- storage tank is made and second sir water metering and also recycling of water has been done to reduce the underwater uh, like uh, tapping third yeah, one sir yeah so there is a report that water logging following rains in chennai and across the tamil nadu is caused because of encroachment of water bodies in chennai and there is a case that one of the airports itself has been constructed on a water body that is encroached is it true how far is it correct because state government would have permitted that construction on the water body sir uh, the f- the first thing is that sir uh, with respect to the uh, encroachment factor it is one of the factor that led to chennai flooding and second one the uh, airport that has been located in chennai is located near to a uh, river stream so due to the unprecedented rainfall and cloudburst the uh, it lead to breakage sorry 
breach of the river that led to inundation of the okay, airport. Okay, sir. thank you. Thank you. All right, Venkat. Uh, from your DAF, it appears that you are working with IB. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, where are you posted in IB? Sir, presently I'm posted in Chennai, sir. In Chennai, all right, okay. Uh, recently, uh, the Chief Justice of India, uh, about the he talked about pendency to district judges, and he um, raised few pain points. Can you enumerate uh, what he said to the judges? Sir, so the first thing, what are the various? Uh, uh, I'm not sure about the specific uh, case what he incurred, sir. But various reform that he mentioned was uh, first one bay, uh, bay and not J. Right. The second one is that, sir, uh, that we should not more adjournments with respect right. to the case uh, to. decided, sir. Mm -hmm. And third one is that, sir, uh, the investigation of the police should be uh, better than with respect to recent reforms of uh, technology. In Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You say the following internal security issues. Of course, you will. Do you think that the recent uh, blast in uh, Bangalore, uh, who could be behind it? Any preliminary um, uh, reports on this? Sir, until now, no, uh, no traditional organization has took the responsibility of the okay. recent blast. Uh -huh. However, uh, based upon the uh, media reports and the other uh, 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 newspaper articles, uh, the way they perceive to be more number of Mangaluru, this won't be perceived by the general public as one form of normal property. However, intelligence and the investigation going on, you have to have a strong opinion regarding what it was. Has the bomb data, uh, the National Security Guard or any FSL uh, given, uh, identified the IED device as a uh, low kind of a bomb is, uh, as the Chief Minister claimed or uh, he was uh, just addressing the political uh, clientele. Sir, the low intensity bomb has been declared by the Chief Minister uh, has been done after the police started the investigation uh, and since uh, it has been perceived that uh, where no human casualty has been done mm -hmm. and it has been perceived to be created uh, fear among the people and this is a of the uh, police as a well, whole, sir. Okay. Uh, one question, you come from Tamil Nadu, right? Yes, sir. There is a perception that Tamil Nadu is, uh, they are uh, language chauvinists and they are anti-Hindi. Is that so? Sir, definitely not, sir. The okay. first reason is that uh, these narratives have been built in the earlier part of 1950s and 60s that are still have been propagated for misinformation and hate speech as a whole. Mm -hmm. Presently, it has been perceived that the Tamilians live in India have a more number of actually learning with respect to other languages. <coughs> for example, three language policy is a better, better step, sir. Okay. Uh, my last question to you would be that uh, recently what I have seen that Rajasthan, whenever it rains, there are frequent floods in Rajasthan. Why does it happen? Sir, the first thing is that, sir, uh, due to more number of concretization with respect to the uh, urban areas, this leads to more number of runoff. And second is that, sir, lack of time for the rainwater to penetrate with respect to ground level. So, due to this, there was more number of uh, urban runoff. This leads to flooding the areas, sir. Have you heard of Oroyos? Sir? Oroyos. No, sir. But does it have anything to do with the soil texture also of Rajasthan? In the deserts, you have uh, such flash floods? Sir, <coughs> so, uh, the sandy soil in desert areas are more uh, famous for the compaction, wherein the penetration to a certain level below the groundwater, the ground level is uh, hard due to the right. compaction, sir. Okay, I get your point. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Vakateshwaran, uh, you come from Kanyakumari. Yes, sir. What was the old name for that? Sir, uh, the district name uh, is, uh, 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 as far as my knowledge, it is uh, since a part of Travancore is a Kanyakumari, but the point has been called as Cape Comorin, sir. Uh, can you tell after whom it was named? Sir, it was named after the uh, Lord Parvati, the concept of Lord Shiva, who was, she was perceived to be a virgin goddess, sir. No, Comorin. Cape, Cape Comorin, sir. Yeah. 
சார் ஐம் நாட் ஷோர் அப்படி காமரின் பார்ட்ஸ் ஓகே டூ யூ நோ வேர் கேப் டவுன் இஸ் எஸ் சார் இட் வாஸ் இன் த நியூஸ் ரீசெண்ட்லி கேன் யூ ரெக்கலெக்ட் ஃபார் வாட் சார் இட் வாஸ் பிஃபோர் அரௌண்ட் டூ அரௌண்ட் த்ரீ டு ஃபோர் இயர்ஸ் இட் வாஸ் மோர் ஃபேமஸ் ஃபார் தி ஜீரோ வாட் டூ ஃபோர் இயர்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அபவுட் எயிட் டு டென் டேஸ் ஓ ஐ எம் சாரி சார் சார் ஐ எம் நாட் ஷோர் அபவுட் இட் சார் but earlier it was more famous for the acute water scarcity in that region sir right now it has been declared as the first dry city of the world okay sir the water is being rationed just like uh, we have petrol and diesel through outlets okay sir happy sir i look into it sir <laughs> okay <clears throat> uh you have a civil engineering background can you name a few civil engineering infra landmarks in india which have come up recently sir the first thing will be the lord uh, ayodhya ram ayodhya temple because it is a temple where we have no not use any steel or mortar and only using the marbles and uh, stone as a whole sir and it is built on a uh, like a clay foundation where you use a large number of raft foundation one of the architectural marvels and second one sir we have recently uh, connected uh, atal uh, so not atal sir like signature bridge uh, at the maharashtra and third one sir we are able to recently connect uh, sorry sir signature bridge at the gujarat coast i am very sorry that and uh, third one is that sir we are uh, re- recently considered a parliament building which has been perceived to last around 1000 years by incorporating the culture and also technology and uh, fourth one sir we are planning to connect a tunnel at jammu and kashmir uh, called as zozila tunnel which is being perceived to be the world's largest tunnel going to be around 14 km so it is in the pipeline sir okay any project you can recollect which pertains to your state sir recently the government has uh, planned the tamil nadu government has been passed a resolution for the central government of india to start the pamban bridge construction with respect to dhanush kodi which was earlier stopped in 2023 sir that is one of the steel bridge construction to be constructed at the ram setu uh, uh, limestone shoal sir that is one construction sir who is the largest stainless steel producer in the country sir i do not know sir okay have you heard about the indus water treaty yes sir Uh, can you tell us anything about it recently it was in the news sir uh, sir the re- uh, indus water treaty has been perceived as a successful uh, water sharing mechanism between two hostile nations by the uh, world nation and been uh, brokered by the world bank in 1960 wherein the uh, indus jhelum uh, chinab has been given to the uh, country of pakistan and uh, ravi bias satlej has been given to the uh, in uh, india for water conservation and uh, due to these uh, ravi bias and chinab we were able to connect the dry water dry region of uh, rajasthan to indira gandhi canal sir okay my final question on what basis were the six rivers in this treaty divided for pakistan and for india sir uh, based of my knowledge sir uh, usually as the river di- uh, divide the international boundaries the talberg principle has been used to delineate the international boundaries sir wherein the central median line of the rivers will be decided by the treaty and apart from that uh, the international maritime boundary ma- land boundary has been determined by the radcliffe Com- ma- committee sir okay thank you thank you sir all right Venkateshwar, and your interview part is over. Uh, when is your interview? UPSC interview? Sir, March 7, sir. March 7. Sir. Almost there. Yes, sir. Uh, first, first UPSC interview? Yes, sir. Uh, have you done any other mocks? Yes, sir. How many? Sir, this is my 15th mock, sir. How much? 15th. 15th. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. All right. In the previous 14 mocks, what was the overall feedback given to you? The good and the bad, both. sir uh, the pos- uh, in the initial 1 to 2 uh, marks they told that i used to speak uh, fast 
then second one then uh, i used to see all the panels like this and this for each and every question <laughs> and the second one sir and the third one uh, they told that i should give a golden silence period between the question and also the answer like 5 so 4 to 5 seconds and later i incorporated and the previous around uh, sound to eight marks are not uh, having so much uh, uh, feedback with respect to personality they told me to integrate like, read current affairs and revise what and all you have written that time uh, like following sir all right how do you rate this interview sir uh, it was fine sir that's uh-huh. my assessment sir on a scale of 1 to 10 where where are you i score myself to be 8 sir i agree you are very good thank you sir number 1 number 2 see the the feedback about reading this current affairs reading that current affairs you are free to say that you don't know an answer it will happen to all of us that's nothing was to worry about I found you very natural, very well spoken. Sir, most of the things you answered very intelligently. You knew what you are talking about. You don't have to write anything. You will get all this. Oh, sure, sir. Out there. Sorry, sir. Everything is here. Uh, and I really don't have too much advice to offer because you are good as you are. Sure, sir. And if at all there is any advice to offer, I would rather avoid because your interview is another day or two away. Yes, sir. Correct. uh you could your shoes could match your the, the color of the shoes and the color of your clothes okay sir doesn't match okay sir if possible if you have i would prefer that you wear black shoes black shoe i have a black shoe sir yeah. uh, that's the only observation that i want to make sure sir you are very good. even if you speak fast we did not have any difficulty in following you it was uh, where i am concerned it was fine sir okay sir uh you are very natural your hand movement etc you are not stiff you speak well 99% of the things that were asked were very well answered do you have any question to ask us sir sir uh, i what i plan is that sir whatever what are the question the, the panel member asked sir i want to make sure the 90% 95% of the eye contact should be with us with respect to honorable person only sir what do you think sir uh, i really don't want to go into those kind of you you are natural you are fine okay sir now don't start worrying about eye contact hand movement etc what will happen is that rather than answering questions and being yourself you will be worried about artificial things okay sir meaning your focus will shift whether whether my eyes are moving or not whether my hands are moving or not understood sir avoid this artificiality at this point of time okay, you're sir. fine as you are sure sir done anything else sir uh, whether if the upsc chairman asked me at the la- like last uh, end of the interview whether you have to t- ask us something sir could i use that opportunity ask to like do it if you have something very meaningful yes otherwise say thank you very much sir mm-hmm. nothing okay sir but but if at all you are asked to, and you want to ask it better be something meaningful okay sir otherwise avoid say thank you so much sir thank you you are very kind okay, thank sir. you that's it okay actually i have a thing to say with respect to upsc board sir uh-huh. uh uh-huh. the statement like uh, sir in my uh, humble submission uh, if i could uh, add a suggestion with respect to upsc mobile application that is that is not for the upsc board okay no. sir that is the administrative part of upsc you can write to them separately okay sir this is not for the board too sure sir board is an external board barring barring the chairperson okay sir these are the administrative functions you don't raise them in the okay sir interview. sure sir anything else <coughs> then i enter thank you sir like oh, i believe sir let me i'll t- i want to tell you one sure. i interviewed you before i have interviewed you before okay sir and uh, last time we had advised you that not to divulge about the Uh, about the working of ib yes sir right just remember that yes, sir. we i deliberately didn't ask any questions on that yes, because i had asked you last time uh number 2 don't worry you are perfect as of now okay yes sir number 3 uh for march 7 you are overdressed okay sir okay. you could remove the jacket okay sir The you can piece. remove the inner jacket and if you can remove being a being a police being one of the police organizations okay sir let these be wear them i'm not saying but wear them under the cuff okay sir they may not if these are not visible that will be fine and no pocket kerchief okay, sir, you okay, are sir. not going to a wedding or a social function okay, okay sir. just take care of that you are simply outstanding okay sir all right. the three shoe and this yeah yes. yeah great job done right thank you thank sir. you very much
Yeah, just one more thing. Meditation, some, some places, if you can be concise, please try to be. Because I have seen that if you know the subject, you go on and on. So that uh, takes time also and that Understood. is not very well, good. Many. So that you try if someone has advised earlier in other boards. But just try to be concise. Sure, sure, if you have sir. the knowledge, then it is much better. Then just <coughs> stick to the point. Sure, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Good day, All sir. All the best.